right, I'm back from two grocery stores. I do have Amazon Fresh coming later, so I'll show you that later. Kind of become our little routine for grocery hauls. We're also, also doing Costco later, so I might show you Costco too. Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions about asking if I can go more into detail about what animal-based is. I feel like I've talked a lot about it, but maybe I haven't just because I'm constantly learning new things and trying new things out. So to me, it's a constant in my brain, but I understand that I might not talk about it enough for you guys to actually understand it. So what I'm going to try to do is show you everything I got and then also kind of explain here or there like why this makes it animal-based or like how this fits into the animal-based diet but for just kind of a preface animal-based is very similar to the carnivore diet the carnivore diet means you only eat animal products and mostly meat animal-based stems off of that and adds in a few more things so with animal-based we are also adding in fruit and honey i think that might be it that's a general basis of the diet i do kind of switch it up a little bit like a teensy bit just because it works for my body I'm not really concerned with making sure I'm following a specific diet to a T I just want to do what makes my body feel the best and so far for the last maybe five months this has been amazing for me so that is what I follow now I also want to mention along with animal based eating or the animal based diet honestly it's kind of just like a way of living honestly because the animal based diet when we're talking about meat and dairy we are talking about the highest quality so all meat must be pasture raised grass fed organic same with the eggs eggs must be pasture raised organic dairy the best option for dairy is going to be raw organic dairy so cheeses milks all of that stuff if you can find it if you can't find raw the next best best option is either going to be a2 dairy products or grass-fed organic dairy products which is what i typically buy for my milk source and then i try to do raw cheese quality matters in an animal-based diet but at the same time we also are really concerned with our day-to-day -day life living water sources all kinds of other things it's not just about the food that we are eating so with that being said i did fill up our five gallon water jugs we have two of the five gallons and two of the one gallons we use the one gallons for the dog's water bowl we do not give him sink water or tap water because A, tap water is extremely bad for you. Pretty much every source of tap water is bad for you. We also have a softener system, so it puts some salt into the water. It runs the water through salt to soften it, and I don't know how much salt is left in the water, and I don't wanna be giving that to the dog if it's like too salty. So we do fill up our gallon jugs. That being said, it is reverse osmosis water, which I'm still kind of on the fence if that's the best water for you, or if spring water is the best for you, like natural spring water, but I can only ever find natural spring water in plastic bottles now with that being said i feel like we're going off on a bunch of different tangents i hope you're following me here with that being said with the plastic i'm very against plastic i think plastic is horrible for our bodies there's been so many studies done showing that today's humans have microplastics found in their blood samples which is so bad we're not supposed to have plastic in our bodies and it's affecting a lot of our bodily functions specifically fertility it is killing people's fertility because of all of the plastic usage in our lives so right now we do have our five gallon jugs and they are plastic and we do refill those with reverse osmosis water and we drink those 10 gallons every week that's the best we can do right now you cannot find a gallon that a jug that big that's glass as far as i have seen but we are in the process of installing a reverse osmosis system in the house so that we can get rid of that whole process and we will just have a direct line from our sink and then we will be filling up these glass water bottles now i just bought these today which is why i'm even talking about it i've been wanting to find some glass reusable water bottles for a while and they're pretty expensive on amazon but i actually found these at our grocery store three of them they're really nice because they have the silicone around it so if you drop it it's less likely to break i will say it does have a plastic top but it is bpa free which is better still not great still shouldn't really be using it but the water is not going to touch it because it is just a twist off and you drink it and it's most likely not going to ever get warm because we will have cold water in it that's another thing heating up plastic is the worst thing to do with it so if you must use plastic make sure you keep it cold or at the very least room temperature do not let it get heated up because then that releases a bunch of toxins 
Okay, I feel like I said a whole lot and it might have been all over the place. I hope some of that made sense, maybe, but I'm gonna actually get into everything we bought now. So we got two dozen of these pasture-raised eggs. We got three bags of avocados. It's another thing about the animal-based diet is you wanna do, it's a lot of proteins and fats, and again, high quality fats, so grass-fed ghee, grass-fed butter, avocados, organic of course. So we go through a ton of these. This is 15 avocados. They will all get eaten this week between the two of us. Fruit, like I said. So we always go through quite a few bananas. And then for fruit this week, we've got some blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. And I picked up a smaller amount this week because we do still have some left over from last week. We buy these um, chicken sausages from the Applegate Organics brand. This is the best thing I can find for a breakfast sausage. So we get the organic chicken and maple one and the organic chicken and apple. Both of these are made with humanely raised chickens. They have no antibiotics, no nitrates or nitrites added. They are gluten and casein free. And again, they are organic. It's kind of the best thing I can find for a pre-made breakfast sausage because we're very much on the go people. These are nice to keep on hand. All right, now these are not part of a traditional animal-based diet at all. These are burger buns because we eat a lot of burgers and you'll see that when we go to Costco. But these are sourdough burger buns. Now from my understanding, sourdough is probably the best way for someone to consume grains because sourdough means the grains have been fermented, which means they've been partially already processed or digested. So it's a lot easier for your body to process them and then ferment Fermentation itself is just good for the gut in general. So if I am eating a bread product at all, it will always be fermented sourdough or like a coconut flour or an almond flour, which we can talk about later when I get the Amazon fresh order. But we get these from Sprouts. They are the 100% natural crystal burger bun. Really great ingredients. I try not to eat these every single day, but again, a good source of carb if you're gonna have Bread. So random, I got some baking powder. When I am baking, I need it, but it is important to look at your ingredients. There's no such thing as an animal-based approved baking powder, but the next best thing is one that does not have aluminum in it. Why would we put aluminum in anything we're eating? I don't know, but the traditional baking powder has aluminum in it. So you wanna find one that does not have it. It should just have three ingredients, cornstarch, sodium bicarbonate, and monocalcium phosphate, which all of those things not very good for you, but if you need something to make your baking rise, get it without aluminum. And last but not least for right now, I also bought some bone broths. Now I have a couple more coming from Amazon. They're going to be just the regular beef recipe one, but today I also picked up the ch some chicken ones. So these are two of the mushroom chicken bone broths. And then I'm also gonna be trying out the butter chicken one, which I've never had before and I'm really excited to try. The bone broth is great. It's great for the gut because of the vitamins and nutrients that come from the bones of the animal. It's also a great source of protein without filling you up. There's two servings in a box and it also is just comforting and warm. The mushroom chicken is my all-time favorite. It just tastes like chicken noodle soup broth. It's so cozy, especially in colder weather delicious but good source of protein good source of vitamins and nutrients i will say getting beef bone broth is always going to be better because beef has a lot more vitamins and nutrients than chicken does but i do like to switch it up so that i don't get burnt out on it and i will say the kettle and fire brand is the only one i will ever buy from because they have specific guidelines that they follow for their animal bones which is very important okay i think that's it for now i will see you once we get costco and then Amazon. Costco. Oh. Cost. Wait. <laughs> wait. Costco haul. Oh. Hi. Oh. <laughs> you say hi first? No. All right, guys. We're gonna do <laughs> Costco haul. Uh, we went to Costco. So first things first, we got this. You have to pick it up. They can't see it. We got this Rayos pasta sauce. I'm not a fan of vegetables, specifically tomatoes. They're in the nightshade category, so they're pretty bad. But <laughs> if you insist on having a tomato pasta sauce, this is the one for you. <laughs> Next up, we got our go-to tortillas. These would not be part of a typical animal-based diet, but you win some, you lose some. 
These are the best thing, in my opinion, you can find for a tortilla because it's almond flour. So we bought five packs, which equals 100 tortillas total. Next, we got butter. Like I said, butter is a dairy product, so you want to go really high quality. This is the best thing that we can find for like a grass-fed butter. And it says right on there 95%, assuming that the cows are grain finished. Kind of hard to find that out here, but it is from New Zealand, which is better. And then last but not least, our fave ever. These are 100% grass fed beef patties. And they're actually cheaper than buying like grass fed ground beef by uh, like 50% almost. I didn't realize that was in <laughs> Zachary's so excited because he loves these burgers so much. <laughs> No, but we really eat a ton of these. We we bought three bags for ourselves, so. FYI, we just cooked those in butter and salt, pretty much. Last haul of the night. I zoomed in, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I also kind of like it, let's see. Um, first of all, I got almond flour. I mentioned if I'm using flours, this is basically one of the only ones I will use. And I'm gonna use this to make some muffins to take on the road. This is the only flour I will buy for like regular flour, the organic all-purpose unbleached. And again, I only use that for like fermenting. Fermenting for sourdough. Honey specifics are very important, so we buy the 100% pure organic raw unfiltered honey. The only thing that would make it better is if it was local, but it's not in the grocery stores. I would have to go to like a specific farm or something and I we just buy this and it's really good. Zachary needed some ketchup so we buy the best you can for it being a tomato product but it is organic and unsweetened. Back to the bone broth. I got two of the beef ones too. The reason I bought them from different places is because the different flavors were cheaper at different places. Sour cream. Good Culture is my favorite brand for sour cream and um, cottage cheese too. So I got four of these little, these are great for snacks. And then our milk, tried and true. I've showed this a bunch of times that this milk's the best. 100% grass fed, no grain, organic whole milk. Raw cheddar or shredding. We use this for like tacos and eggs and such. Organic raw sharp cheddar. And last but not least, some cheese slices. Kerrygold's is good, not the best, but easiest brand to find for cheese slices. That's officially it for the week.